So now I'm going to talk, uh, we're going to do a little example with a little bit more complicated interaction between objects. And I'm going to include another kind of object, or not object really, but a protocol, or what's called in Java, for example, an interface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little screen application, a little class string, a screen that will show a list with arrays. And I'm going to show also the delegate pattern with this, with this, a little bit of MVC, a little bit of delegate pattern. So this is analogous to having an app, right? So I have a class screen and I have a function show, method show that is void. I can put a list view component, which is the component that displays lists in some way. And then I can have a collection of names, okay, that will come from somewhere. And then in the list view, I'm going to say, hey, you know what? These names are going to be your delegate. These names are going to be the ones that populate the list. And then I'm going to call the method show on the list. Okay? Now, for all of this to work, right? This should probably print some... Uh, for all this to work, what I want to say, if I if I have Peter, Paul, and Mary, right, as, as part of my... Um, I, I want the screen to say 1, Peter, 2, Paul, 3, Mary. I want the screen to display this, or the app to display a list with these elements, okay? So let's start. It is very easy to do this uh, simply, but what I, I want to illustrate the delegate pattern and then my list can have any, any kind of data that I want with minimal changes. So in order to do this, I'm going to put the class here. Uh, no, I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to create a protocol, protocol, okay, list view delegate. So whichever class that wants to populate a list view will have to implement this protocol. And this protocol is going to have two functions, get item at position, and then I'll give it a position, and this will return a string. And I'm going to have another function, get count, and that should return an integer. That's how many elements are there in the data that I want to display for the list. That's a little protocol that I can define. Now, I can also define a class, a class list view that the user should never touch, right? Because that's why I'm using a delegate pattern. Whatever the user needs to do in the list view, it will do through the delegate. But just to show you how this works, I'm going to create a class called list view with an instance variable called delegate. That's going to be a list view delegate, okay? And in my init method, I'm going to initialize this delegate. I should initialize it to a dummy delegate, okay? To some very basic delegate that does nothing, okay? But I'm going to initialize it to nil. Now, I will have an error if I initialize it to nil, because nil is not of, of type list view delegate, okay? So, if I wanted to initialize it to, um, well, let's create a, if I want to initialize it to nil, I would need this type to be of this kind of question mark, okay? I'm going to leave it like that um, just so you see what, what happens here, right? So if I want to initialize this to nil, this has to be of type question mark. But then this brings a lot of things down the road, a lot of inconveniences down the road. It is possible to do it like this but it brings a lot of inconveniences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dummy, um, a dummy uh, list view delegate inside the list view. So class dummy delegate, whoops, dummy delegate that implements a list view delegate. And it'll have these two methods. We'll have these two methods, and this one's just going to return an empty string, and this one is going to return zero. Okay, so I have this inner class, dummy delegate, and then instead of initializing this to nil, 
right? What I'm going to initialize this to is to a dummy delegate. Okay? Now, I'm going to have a function here called show, okay, which is basically the function that draws the list. Imagine this is an app, and this is the function that actually draws the, the, the list with all the lines and the backgrounds and everything. In this case, I'm just going to display the items of the delegate. I'm just going to ask the delegate to display item by item. So I'm going to go for i in all the numbers less than the uh, delegate dot get count. So for all the items in the delegate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print i, so uh, the number, right, colon, and then delegate dot get, oops, delegate dot, um, dot get item at position i. So that close parentheses, close that parentheses, close this, close that. Okay. So for i, i is going to be a number that's going to go from 0 to the count of delegates, and I'm going to be requesting that item. And this is what I print. This is how the list is being drawn. Okay. And that's my class uh, list view. Now, I'm going to get my screen class that I showed you earlier. I'm going to get it here. There you go. That's my screen class. Basically, it's going to have a list view component. I'm going to comment this line. It's going to have a list view component. And this line. It's going to have a list view component. And, and then I'm going to say list.show. Okay? Now, oh, okay, fine. This is basically saying that because I never change anything in the list, then this could be a let variable, which are like final variables, but I don't care about that. That's my screen. Now, let's run the app and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to run my app. And nothing will happen because there's nothing to print. See, there's a screen there, screen, there's nothing to show. I can actually print here just so you can see, uh, or actually the list. In the list, when I print here, I could actually print a few lines above and then print a few lines below, just so you realize what happens here. And then my app just shows an empty list. Now what we're going to do though is we're going to create a string array delegate so we can we can have this list print uh, string arrays. Okay. So I've created the protocol. I've created the list view which I will not touch again, and I've created my app. Now for any app to use a list view, all it needs to do is you need to provide a class that can handle the data for the list view, and that class. For example, in this case, I'm going to call it string array delegate. It's going to inherit or, or implement the protocol list view delegate. Okay. And now in here, because there's two functions, right? First, I'm going to create a little uh, member variable, instance variable called array, which is going to be an array of strings. Okay. Now, I'm going to initialize this in the init method. I'm going to pass an array of strings to the init method and set it array equals data. Okay, so I've created my string array delegate. It has a member variable, an instance variable called array, and the init method, the constructor, takes in a string array called data and puts it in the classes array. Now I need to implement both methods, the method that gets the item at position and get counts. These methods here in the protocol, get item at position and get count. So I'll just implement those methods. Notice that I don't override or anything like that, I simply implement the methods, okay? So here I've implemented the methods. 
create a function get item at position position integer returns a string what, basically what this does is returns the element of the array at that position okay it's super simple and this get count returns the size of the array okay that's all these things do and now here in my app now what I can do is I can create a little variable a little array of names for example whoops a little array of names so for example um, I'm gonna create uh, Peter Paul and Mary so here I created a, var a variable called names which is a kind of string array delegate and because the init method receives a string array I will say data colon because I need to provide the name of the parameter and then the array Peter Paul and Mary is an array of strings those are my names and then here I'm gonna say list dot delegate equals names names is a bad here names provider okay names and the delegate is going to be this names provider and then I'll show it and you can see how it now prints Peter Paul and Mary now anytime I want to print a list like this I just need to create my little delegate and pass it to the list and the list can be a list that prints a lot more fancy stuff and I never need to modify it and this is how you can use the delegate pattern in uh, Swift for example and now we're playing with classes in a much more interesting way starts with a protocol that defines how the delegate's going to work there's a mysterious black box class that needs a delegate to display th data and then because I want to display uh, uh, a string or the elements of a string array I create a, del a delegate that's able to a list view delegate that is able to take in a string array and provide the, the methods that the list view is expecting and then I have a little class screen which is kind of my app that actually I just give it the, the data as a string array delegate and will automatically display the results when I initialize it and then say show okay so this is a little bit more advanced example with classes I hope you understand how how all these work um, please take a look at the take a look at the classes again pause the video when you need to and uh, we'll see you next time